Welcome back and in today's video um, Heads up this video is not going to be like my normal videos mostly because I've been running around all day I'm super tired super stressed out But I still wanted to get something out to you today about this Cole Kerrigan ace family stuff or at least put something out so we can stimulate a conversation because this is a uh, Well, let's just get into exploring some youtubers if you guys are unfamiliar with the Ace Family, they're a YouTube family with over 17.7 .7 million subscribers. They're generally portrayed as very happy. You might remember they faced some backlash most recently for uh, the whole working in the restaurant thing. Most of the internet was accusing them of mocking the working class. But another YouTuber, Cole Kerrigan, he made sort of another video. So I'm sure you guys have heard by now that Cole Kerrigan came out with a video titled The Truth About the Ace Family. And in this video were some very serious allegations. So a few months ago, June 22nd to be exact, I was still living in the Team 10 house and I got a call from one of my good friends. She was hysterically crying. I've never heard anyone feel so distraught in my life. I was so scared and she began to explain to me that she was in Miami with Austin McBroom and a bunch of other people, including his assistant, his dad, security guards, other girls, XYZ happened. He showed a lot of screenshots, but none of them were really hitting the mark on this. And with such serious allegations, a lot of people were saying, why didn't he go to the cops with this stuff? Because the, the caliber of what he's saying, if true, uh, it's not good. People started to look into this. People started to question it. And... Mm. After they all had been drinking, my two friends went back to their room to go change because the sun was setting. And that's when Austin, the security guard, the father, and two other guys came into their room. Obviously, I don't have recordings. I went down in the room, but my friend told me that... What? You don't have any... It, what? Obviously, I don't have recordings. I went down in the room, but my friend told me... She repeatedly said no multiple times over and over and over to the point where she started crying, begging them to stop. That's when they forced themselves in her and I will insert the photos of the blood all over the bed sheets in the hotel room. A tweet surfaced where he was talking about the very same allegations that he was acting so serious, so sincere about. Uh, uh, using facial expressions like this and it didn't really match the tonality of the tweet that he put out how does no one know their entire brand is fake Austin has blanked so many of my friends recently even one girl with his own father and Catherine knows and is okay with it as long as he's home in time for the vlogs laughing emoji 100% from laughing emojis to this, at one particular part, he points out that Drama Alert um, ditched out on a video because they were paid off for $500,000. Keemstar came out with a Twitter video explaining the real reason he didn't make his planned video on the Ace family. He also goes on to show that Cole Kerrigan purposely held the fact that Keemstar was being sarcastic to make it look worse. Ace family. On last Drama Alert, I said I was going to upload a video tomorrow about the Ace family and cheating but that video never came out. Now here's the thing, I personally think that Austin cheats on his wife. And the reason why I personally think that is because so many YouTubers that I've talked to have told me that. They told me he has his own separate house that he takes girls to, hooks up with, and makes them sign contracts not to say anything. Which is none of my business, but all I'm saying is so many other girls have come out, said something, and then their accounts get like disappear or whatever. And you guys have been begging me to make a video on it. So we finally tracked down one of these alleged girls and they were coming on for an interview because none of them ever talk. And of course, the day to do the interview, she disappeared. But conveniently so forgot to put the part where where he said it was being sarcastic. He didn't tweet anything, he didn't upload anything. So I texted him saying, how much did they pay you to keep quiet? And he responded with this, and I was completely shocked. I immediately called my friend and told her that he was paid off $500,000 to keep quiet about the situation, and that I needed to come forward. What? I, I think you're missing some text there, bro. Like, wh where's the whole, like, I'm being sarcastic. How come that's not added in there? Where we just gonna act like that doesn't exist? 
And quite frankly, you've been very adamant on Twitter that you are going to ruin the Ace family. So if they did pay me off 500K, why would I tell you? So it really started to seem like Cole Carrington was up to no good, but people really didn't want to think that he would do something like this for just clout. Uh, but it appears that he did it also for money. One of the girls that were there that night put an Instagram story out saying that Cole Carrington was pretty much up to no good, saying, to speak on this video that Cole Carrington posted, some of you have already figured out that I'm the other girl they're talking about in the video. I feel like this video was made for the wrong reasons, and this wasn't Cole's story to tell. Cole even texted me saying, we could potentially get paid 100000 from this, following the claim that Drama Alert was paid 500000 Swipe right to see the text. I wasn't aware Amanda or Cole were in contact with Drama Alert to anonymously run our story, but I was aware of Cole's video being made, and I only wanted to be factual if it was ever going to be posted. I wanted to say that Austin McBroom is not to blame in the situation and did not blank me or anyone. I'm currently handling this situation in my own way. I brought this to social media to address the false accusations. This isn't what I wanted. There's several sides to every story and this isn't how I wanted to tell mine. She goes on to provide screenshots from Cole. Enough proof, but the point of this is not to upload a video. The point of this is to scare them into paying us off. Because they paid Drama Alert 500k, so I'm sure they would pay me 100k. Or more, not to say blank. And then I would split that with you guys if you help me and send me all the receipts that I need. Wow, that's really like... Uh, I mean, he's talking to girls that were allegedly uh, just raped. This is very insensitive if this was the case. Now, this is just very not good. This doesn't look good for Cole Kering, and it really makes it look like, uh, I mean, if you take it at face value, it looks like he was trying to blackmail uh, Austin. He was trying to get money from the Ace family. He specifically went on to make them look bad. Now, this story is still developing. There's still some things that could come out because there's a lot of people that have yet to say anything. Austin did say, if you have not heard, I've recently been a victim of extortion, defamation, and slander. I knew this was a cold world, but never did I foresee something this disturbing upon me. Thank you to all of my Ace family members for all of your concerns, and thank you for those who know my character and my heart. I don't wish this upon anyone, and I can only hope that those responsible for this learn from their mistakes and become better people. My family and I are dealing with this matter privately and taking legal action. Bullying, extortion, slander, and defamation of character is something I will not stand for, and I can promise that justice will be served. And that kind of seems like what's going on, but uh, as I said, we do not know. Um, I'm currently in research with this video. I might release a more in-depth video as more things come out. Um, but for now, I wanted to get this out to you guys because this is crazy and I wanted to hear what you thought. I wanted to simulate conversation. I'm going to put all sources to this and you're going to want to check out the sources because I want you to fully develop your own opinions on this. Uh, currently, everything is just allegations. Currently, everything is, <laughs> it's not looking that great, but let me know. Because as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative under interesting responses in the comment box below. <laughs> as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. Uh, today was build day. I was running around all day and uh, I was just really tired. I didn't have it in me to like put out a full production because it's so late in the day. But I did want to get something out there for you guys. So I hope this is uh, at least stimulating enough for a conversation. I really do. I'm see from what I'm seeing. Uh, it looks like Cole Carrington really was exploiting this situation. And if that's the case, it's not good. But I'm I'm gonna uh, probably do a more in depth video on this. I feel like it deserves it. Uh, but you let me know what you think. Uh, other than that, um, we're trying to get the Instagram to 12,000 followers still, currently at 11.1,000. And when we get to 12,000, I'm going to do a whole Q&A. Um, 
you can reach out to me on uh, Instagram if you have any more in-depth conversation or any questions about this uh, particular topic or anything that you want to input. Uh, just go ahead and send me a DM, and uh, I'm actually behind on DMs right now, so allow me just a couple days, but I promise I'll get back to you. Things have been crazy recently, but uh, I ate the world's greatest salad today, so <laughs> I don't know. Because uh, I know that you're repping, if you're not repping, you're gagging, and how you do that, all you gotta do is subscribe, notifications turned on, be in the comment section after every single video, because I'm gonna be there, Greg the Cat's gonna be there, and the rest of the rest of the community as well. And I expect to see you there too, because this channel loves you.